Hi, this is Craig from DiviThemeExamples.com and today we're going to have a look at the full width header extended module which is what I've used to build this quick demo. The plugin is built by DiviWebDesign.com and costs $12 to buy and basically what the plugin does is adds a new module into your Divi Builder called the Full Width Header Extended module. Um, this can be used in your Divi Builder in a full width section and it is kind of like the default full width header but it adds a whole load more new settings and options so you can create things like in the demo. So you, you basically have uh, title effects, so you have a typing, a rotator effect, and you have these background effects. You can also add your own custom scroll down icon, uh, change the order of the title and subheading, and you can add 49 different animations to basically all of the elements within the header. So we'll have a look at the, the demo site here. So as you can see, the various elements are uh, animated in. You've got an animated background, you've got this particle effect, you've got the typing effect here, and this one is a rotating effect. So you can have um, half of the title static, half either rotating or typing. So there's, there's a lot of different options and you can see there's a custom down icon here as well. So back to this example, which is something I just uh, quickly put together. So we'll run through some of the settings in the pl plugin. So here we have a blank page and I'm going to re recreate this demo. So I've already gone into uh, plugins, add new and uploaded the plugin file and activated it. If you don't know how to do that, the plugin comes with full documentation. So getting started shows you how to upload the plugin, where, where to activate it, and where you'll find it in the Divi Builder. We also have instructions of how to use all of the various settings. It's kind of uh, self-explanatory if you work through the settings in the module, but the one thing that you, you probably will need is this bit here, which just says that so the typing effect um, when it rotates or deletes text for the next line of text you need to separate it with this uh, vertical line here so each of your different texts but that's I guess the only thing you really need to know from here okay so what we'll need to do is use a full width section and insert module and as you can see can't really miss it add the full width header extended so we're going to say Divi theme examples and we're going to use the typing effect so once you've selected this you then get this option, so static plus typing. So we're going to select that one as well. So this title is the static bit, and then we're going to input the uh, the um, animated text here. So, so we got plus.
and you can adjust the animation speed, start delay, and time before backspacing. So we'll pause so, so it's easier to read. So we'll add a bit of a pause. You can set the font color, type cursor. Add a subheading, which we're going to have before the title. So as you can see here, you can turn animation on and off for all the various um, elements of the header. And then once you turn it on, you can then choose from all of these different animation effects. So I'm going to leave that one off for now. So we're going to have a light color. We're going to center everything. We're going to make full screen. And with the scroll down button, these are the, all the default arrows, but you can actually add your own one. So you can upload. So we're going to use this one. And on that custom down arrow, we can add animation to. So we're going to bounce in down. We're going to add some buttons. And so this is would be for a standard background image, but we're going to have an animated gradient background and we're going to make it transparent. So we're going to add the background image onto the section uh, settings. So we'll do that in a moment. And we're going to turn the particle effects on. So we're going to add a small logo and we're going to animate this logo so it uh, pulses. And what else what are we going to do? Drag that to the top and see what we have. You can see it's pretty quick to set up and it looks quite good, but there's a, f a few things that we're going to change. So, from this demo. So we want to add the background. So we have a transparent animated gradient on the module. So we're going to upload the background image into the section. So we preview that. You should now see this background showing through the animated gradient and these particles. Save, go back into the module, and we want the title font to be bold. So, again, in here you can see you can animate the title, you can animate the subheading. And I was wanting to make the down arrow bigger. Where was that? Okay, so scroll icon width. So we're going to put that at 65.
So there you can see it's bigger. So I guess the only um, other thing we wanted to make the button green. <coughs> and hopefully, so there you can see in five minutes or so, we've created an animated header and there's still a whole load of options that we haven't touched yet on this particular demo. So there's uh, a lot of room for creating totally unique headers. Okay, so grab yourself a copy and see what you can create. <coughs>